I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and I'm here with Zach Wiener-Smith, who is the author and mastermind behind SMBC Comics, yes. Saturday Morning Breakfast Cereal. Yeah. I've seen your comics like all over the internet, and I, before I knew that they were yours, and I'm uh, sure this is pretty common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have this one comic that's about a math teacher. I was surprised by how well that did, because it was kind of mean. What was funny, that was one where I got a whole lot of math teachers, and I, could, I was surprised like math teachers who were still working were like, this is exactly it. And I was like, mm. Oh, You don't want to say that. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that's so, oh, poor but. children. Thank you so much for, the real reason that you're here is yes. to answer some physics riddles. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Okay, I'm going to start with a warm-up, which is more of like a physics trivia question. Okay. And I didn't get it right, so good luck. What are the base SI units? Oh, like the most fundamental? Yes. Pause here if you want to think about the answer first. Grams? I'm going to give you the point for the grams, but it's actually kilograms. A kilogram is weirdly defined off of a physical object. A cylinder kept in France called the big K. Meters, obviously. This uh, is such an evil question for someone who hasn't studied physics for a long time. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> just trying to think what, I mean, because they're, they're obviously all the bigger like aggregate units. Like, does joules count as fundamental? No. Well, then there'd be seconds, of course. Uh, yes. The second is defined off of the frequency of light from energy level transitions in a cesium-133 atom. So weird. <laughs> and there's more. Okay, well, there, there must be a charge unit, right? So that's also one that I guessed. I thought the Coulomb was a base SI unit. Right. Mm -hmm. Why not? I, I don't know why not. It's probably a historical reason. I just want you to know <laughs> that you've gotten all the ones that I got. And the, the rest or... of them are weird. I mean, what else do you need to describe what's going on in the universe? Is, uh... <laughs> We've got a practicing physicist over here, like, yeah. dying to answer. Do you know yeah, what, what you, What is it? I think there's one for light. It's either lumens or, or candela. Or yeah, candela. yeah. That's candela. one of the weird ones. I never would have guessed. It's the candela, which has to do with, like, the light from a candle. Um, yeah. Amp. Okay, it explain turns, amps, yeah. It turns out the amp is a base unit for historical reasons. It was historically easier to measure the force on wires with current than to measure individual charges. And then, but coulombs are not in, yeah, yeah. huh. <laughs> we should write a letter. We <laughs> <laughs> should write a comic about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there are, yeah, there are two more. Remember. Um, it's related to temperature. I guess Kelvin. Yeah, yeah. and it's Kelvin. Too. That was just the warm-up to let you know how, how mean I'm being <laughs> with these riddles. Yeah. So the actual riddle, the real riddle. Yes. There's a group of prisoners. Do you want to pick a number? A hundred. A hundred prisoners. Yeah. A city with a lot of crime. The evil warden decides she wants to play a sadistic game. And so she tells all of the prisoners the night before, the next day she's going to line them up and put hats on them. One of two colors. Do you want to pick the colors? Oh, uh, purple and green. Purple and green. <laughs> You've got purple and green hats randomly on the prisoners. It's going to be a random number of purple or green hats. Okay. You don't have necessarily 50 purple and 50 green. What she says to the prisoner she's going to do is line them up all facing the same direction. For example, the prisoner in the back is looking forward and can see all of the prisoners in front of him. Okay. And then the next prisoner can see just all the ones in front of him. The prisoner at the front can only see the wall. Got it. Got it. <laughs> so then she's going to go from the back and ask the prisoner the color of her hat. If she guesses correctly, she gets to live. If she guesses incorrectly, she dies a silent death. And then she goes to the next prisoner. Imagine that I'm behind you okay. and you're facing that way. Yeah. And the warden comes to me and is like, what color is your hat? And I'm going to make my, my guess or my educated guess yeah. be like, green, that's all you hear. And then I will either die or not, but you won't know. But, yeah. And then she'll come to you and you'll make your guess. Is there a strategy that prisoners can come up with to maximize the number of prisoners that are going to live? So they can meet before, like the night before. But they can't like time. look at each other's head and say. No. She lines them up, then puts the hats on of different colors. They can't see their own hat. They can only see the hats of the prisoners in front of them. Do they get to pick how they line up in any way? They're just randomly? Just randomly. And then randomly given hats. And, and can they, they can't interact after they're lined up? The only thing they can say is guess the color of their hats. So they can talk to each other? They can talk to each other to come up with a strategy the night before. But not the day of. Hmm. Huh. I'm not the... Uh... It's a hard one. Yeah. It's a really hard one. Try and maximize the number of survivors. Right. Not necessarily maximize. Right. Do so you hear the person behind you when they guess? Yes, you do. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, so the other thing you can do is guess the same thing or guess the opposite thing, but I don't see how that... Well, the person behind you can see your hat. Oh, okay. So you should always guess what the next person is going to say, so only one person does, right? Well, let's think through that. Okay, so everyone can see all of the hats in front of them. Right, right. So the next person who's going to be up, you should just say whatever their hat is. And then and then how many does that guarantee will live? Like the strategy you're saying, right, is like you you say the, the, the hat of the person in front of you. Yeah. Say it's like green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. Yeah. Then everybody dies if you just say the hat in front of you. Oh, cause, oh right, of course, because they could die because they're going to say the right thing. Exactly. Uh, I see, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah. If it is lined up green, purple, green, purple, and then like every other person says the hat in front of them, oh. the worst loss for that one would be 50%. Oh, yeah, but you could say it in a different pitch to tell the next person whether you're lying <laughs> or not. That should be your strategy. You should... It wasn't banned by the rules, I think. It was right? not banned yeah. by the rules. <laughs> if every other person says the hat in front of them, then you guarantee 50%. Right. Other than the is that, Was that your guess? Yeah. Is there a way to get that in? Not cutting my cheating method. So the first person could say something about the total group with with one word, but like, so you could the first person could say what the majority is. Is that or right? something like that? Or something like oh. that. <laughs> Shoot. I went through this struggle silently in my room. And yeah, I mean, right. You do it on, on camera. camera. <laughs> this is a hint for you. You have to figure out this thing that you could look forward, see a whole group, and decide something binary. Right. Like either it's this or it's that of. The the group. So I've tortured you yes. <laughs> with a physics trivia question and a really hard riddle. Yes. Do you want to um, ask me your riddles? I'm suffering while you're That's suffering. a great idea. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this, this is a Ray Smolian um, riddle. This is something I guess he did at a lecture. He, he called, It was at a math lecture and he called some poor guy up and he said, I want to make a deal with you. And the deal is I'm going to give you two $10 bills and then I'm going to make a statement of some kind, just any kind of logical statement. And if the statement is false, you give me back one of the $10 bills. And the statement is true you keep both so would you agree to this it's a good deal right you either get ten dollars or twenty dollars and so the guy says yes and then he says okay and this is this is not the statement but he says i'm gonna say something and then you're gonna owe me a thousand dollars and the question is what can he say that'll result in uh, him being owed a thousand dollars that raymond smolian will get a thousand dollars it's just a statement it, the, the other guy doesn't interact anymore at this point but d does the other guy have a have a thousand dollars well that's his problem he's gotta cough it up <laughs> <laughs> okay so he may go into debt Good, now you're suffering too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is it something like, in order for you to figure out whether this statement is true, you need to give me $900? In, in the sense that that's like a, a logic statement, it, it's that sort of structure, but it's not, that, it's not even that complicated. It's not even that complicated. No, no. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, is it something to like a qualifier where, is it something like right. either you will keep $10 and give me back a hundred or thousand and ten, or you will keep $20 and give me back a thousand and twenty? No, because then you could just not do it and the statement would be false and you'd only have to give back $10. Yeah, I, I thought that that yeah. might be a, a fly in my ointment. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a condition where you can escape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that I'm done. All right, let's, gonna, in, let's, the time, uh, in the time allotted. <laughs> I'm ready. For the answer? Yeah. The answer is he will say, you will either give me $1,000 or $10. You have to think for a second about why this is true, right? So, yeah. um, so if he, uh, right? So yeah, you can't give him the $10 because then the statement's false. Oh, uh, right? okay. <laughs> yeah. I get it. That's what I was trying to get at was like, there's something in the statement that guarantees that it's either true or false. And right. that's that you will give me $10 is what contradicts the statement right. because if it's ten dollars then it's false but then he is doing what the right. thing is so it can't be false it has to be true yes <laughs> that's a great yeah, riddle yeah i like that okay are you ready yes so the solution that guarantees the, the most survivors yeah. does have to do with odds and evens okay if the person in the back says purple that means there's an odd number of purple hats ahead okay and and the next person will know what they are so the person in the back We'll say either green or purple yeah. and determine the total, like of the rest of the hats, is there an odd number of purple hats or an even number of purple hats? Okay. Um, and they're telling everybody that. So then the next person can see the rest of the hats and sees, okay, well. Damn it. <laughs> That's it. That's beautiful. You guys yeah, both at the same time. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's, Isn't it nice? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you look down the line and uh, 
you know it's odd and there's an equal number of the other kinds of heads, you know you must be the odd man out, uh, the odd person out. Yes. Um, and if it's if it's not, then you know you must align with the missing spot. Yes. Um, so now you have an answer to your... Uh... <laughs> ah, that's, that's really that's really irritating. I feel like you and I both like got right up to that last step. Yes. Yeah. You got so close. Uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you for this having is, me. This is such a coincidence. I happen to be in London and going yeah. to Bathes. Bathes. Uh, just one last thing. Uh, happy happy physicsing. That was the best I nailed it. I ever. I was so nailed good it. at that. Yeah, yes. bam. <laughs> Hey, one last thing. It's that time of year again. Christmas! Just kidding. BBS Digital Studios is running a survey, and basically they'd like to hear from you what you'd like to see more of on YouTube and in the world. So it's a quick survey. There's a link in the description and in the card. And 25 random participants are going to get a PBS t-shirt. So sounds worth it. That's all. Thanks.